How to install Cali Vinyl Legends flooring. Our newest and thickest Cali Vinyl floor yet, Legends, is designed to look and feel like real wood. Beautiful colors and authentic textures make this collection a perfect fit for any household in need of stunning yet waterproof flooring. There are a few pre-installation steps you'll want to check off before getting started. We recommend you order about 5% more than the square footage that you want to cover. Make sure the subfloor is dry, flat, level, and clean. Planks can be laid over most concrete, wood, or vinyl, but carpeting should be removed. We require the use of a moisture barrier, like 6 mil plastic, when installing over concrete, and a vapor barrier is recommended over a wood subfloor. Legends planks require an expansion gap of at least 3 eighths of an inch between the flooring and all immovable vertical objects like walls, cabinets, and pipes. If you're installing in an especially big space, you'll want to leave a slightly larger gap. Legends flooring requires a simple one-day acclimation. Just lay your boxes on the floor as close as possible to the space where you'll be installing and allow them to sit for at least 24 hours. Once you've completed all pre-installation steps, you are ready to start laying planks. You'll need the following tools. A tape measure and a pencil, a utility knife, a rubber mallet and a tapping block, a miter saw and a table saw, a double-sided pull bar, and 3 8 inch spacers to maintain your expansion gaps. If your door jams require undercutting, you'll also require a multifunction tool with a saw blade attachment. Start by measuring the room at a right angle to the direction of the planks. The planks in the final row should be at least three inches in width. That means the planks in the first row might have to be cut or ripped lengthwise to a smaller size. Starting at the left side of the room, lay the first plank with the tongue side facing the wall. Use the 3 8 inch spacers to maintain an expansion gap between the walls and edges of the plank. Install the second piece to the right of your first, by aligning the butt seams together at a 45 degree angle. Gently push the second piece down until the tongue and groove lock together. Continue laying planks until you fill in the first row. You'll need to cut the final plank to fit with a saw. If your leftover piece is longer than eight inches, you can use it to start your second row, once again starting at the left side of the room. Note that there should always be at least eight inches between the butt seams on adjacent rows. You can also avoid H patterns by varying the size of your row starter pieces. Then angle the second plank at about 45 degrees towards the butt end of the starter plank so that the tongue rests in the groove. Offset the two planks by about a half inch and press it down flat, ensuring the seams are engaged. Then slightly lift the length of the second plank so it engages with the long seam in your first row. The adjacent plank will also lift up. Push in slightly along the length of the plank to fully connect. The butt seam should stay engaged during this process. Gentle use of a tapping block along the long sides of the planks may help to get secure engagement. Just avoid tapping directly on the click mechanism. Continue laying planks in this fashion till you fill the room. Your planks should fit snugly with no gapping. Note that once a few rows are complete, it might be easier to stand on the installed planks and continue laying while facing the opposite direction. It's possible you'll need to undercut your door jams in two places. To do this, place a scrap piece of flooring next to the door frame and with a multifunction tool, remove just enough material to allow the flooring to pass underneath. Continue installing rows and repeat this process on the other side. Once the installation is complete, you can use a transition piece like a T-molding in the doorway to conceal the transition. The last row may need to be ripped to fit. Ensure that final row is at least one-third the width of the plank, or three inches wide. Cut it to size and then use a pull bar and a hammer to engage the length of the plank. Finally, remove your spacers and replace the baseboards or add molding like quarter rounds to cover all your expansion gaps. And you're done. Congrats on installing your new Cali Vinyl Legends floor. Be sure to check out our vinyl care and maintenance video next. Cali, taking flooring further.